Hey, it's What the Flick, everybody. The Americans, the uh, penultimate episode yeah. of yes. season two, uh, Operation Chronicle. Uh, Robert Abley, Alonzo Durali, Ben Mankiewicz, another great uh, episode as we're building yes. to yep. some fantastic stuff. It was an episode thrilled, uh, filled with the thrills, and uh, yet I, I, I won't care. And curious. filled with Phil. And, <laughs> and filled with Phil, right. But I think the most dramatic moment, the moment of, uh, was just Paige picking up the phone. Oh my God. Oh yeah. yeah. No like, kidding. That, yeah, Paige is getting saucy about yeah. it. I mean, yeah. she's like getting like, you know, so did the plane go down? And it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, the plane go down, all your passengers on it? Yeah. <laughs> all your so. customers on it? Right. <laughs> no, yeah. They've been, I mean, this whole season, or did it start last year, the whole snooping around the laundry room? It or ended, last year? Last season ended. Okay, with, with right. so, so that's been a whole thing then that they've mm. been kind of stringing along all year. For me, the I mean, yeah, of all the things that was happening, I'm finding the whole... Uh, Nina subplot fascinating because yes, things are clearer now. Well, yeah, but but in the, in, the, in the weird way, they're clearer in that what seems like a scam is actually true in terms of like the the things that they're threatening. You know, you can see them pretending that okay, we're going to do all this stuff to threaten Beeman to hand over the stealth stuff, but no, they're really doing it. Like they really are going to send her back for trial. They really are. Yeah, th you know. yeah, that was clearly always a, a like a very real possibility. And now we know that Oleg, you know, is in love with her mm -hmm. and was maybe mm, thinking maybe I should help her escape get out of this. Yeah. yeah, so he gave her money. Right, right. right. Um, I still think it's uh, you know, I don't know. I still think it's a little unclear. I, I because to them what part all of it, like exactly. Right. Now it seems like she's because there's clearly they've already established that there are conversations happening that we don't see, right? Because they say, you know, we uh, we had all been led to believe, you know, if Beeman doesn't go for this, so I thought that meant that she would have to talk Beeman into it. But there was no her talking Beeman into it. There was this dramatic scene where he's like, "Honey, I'm, I'm home," right. and she's beaten up. Well, and I think she was given her a chance to talk Beeman into it. She probably had to go back and say like. Still not sure. I, I got it, but I, it, seems, it seems to me like this was always their plan. Like this was their plan, they just didn't share that mm. with us. Because of course I thought, as you probably did, well, he's not just going to agree to spy for her. On well, sure, but but the thing, but but I think it's it's one thing if if they're they're telling Beeman, hey, we're gonna we're gonna send her back to Russia and put her on trial if you don't give this to us, as a way simply to manipulate him. But given the fact that they actually are going to send her back to Russia to set her on trial, as far as we know, that yeah, that's, that's, that's the that, interesting wrinkle in all. Also, this. The, the, what they need Beeman for was not realized that they needed it until just recently. So I mean him needing him having to get and the core getting, on was it. only recently discovered that they needed this thing called core. And, so and, and that they couldn't have been and part the, of and the echo program that just came up. Or I'm like, sorry, echo. Yeah. echo, echo right. sorry. It couldn't have been it could not have been uh, determined earlier in the season that they needed him right. for, they were for just echo. they figured that he was involved once he got involved with stealth then all of a sudden he became that became a much more important Right. Get to them, and they stopped just stringing this thing along. They needed to, to act on it. I think what's slightly also unclear, just because of the nature of the show, is look, they're playing it out, and uh, Arcady is saying, "Yeah, we're going to send her back," and he may even have Oleg believing that they're going to send her back. That's true. Yeah, that's but the other thing. Yeah, like, yeah, are they kidding he, us or not? But he might just be like, "No, I'm not going <laughs> to." I didn't tell him I'm not going to send her back for this. I just needed this to play out, sure. and I needed. And I need her to believe, to believe it. I right. need her to believe it. Yeah. Um, Does Lee Turgeson know that uh, the kid is the kid of Emmett and Leanne? Does Larrick know yeah. That, that? Yeah. Does Larry? Yeah, I think he does. He, do, he does know that they're because he knows that he knows from the because he thinks that Elizabeth and Philip are the killers. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, is he following them because he's trying to get Elizabeth, or is he following them? I don't think he's trying to, uh, I don't think he thinks Elizabeth and, and Philip are the killers. Well, I, th yeah, because that's why he killed he their the handler kill last week. He I, thinks they're the killers of, of, of his guys. Of, no, 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 no. Of the, of the guys on the mission. The, the Contras. The Contras oh, on the mission. okay. So he's all I'm getting. Well, I, mean, killers. I think, yeah. I <laughs> he's think after revenge. Right, when he right, says right. they killed my friends, and he's not, I think, not worried. He's he not worried. the contra folks. Okay. And Sorry, he's not even yeah. worried about the, uh, right. he's not, he's, wor he's worried about the American trainers they killed. Right. Like that yeah. kid, he didn't, I don't even think he cares about the contra but commanders. We're being led okay. to believe he's heading in the direction of 
you know, we're being led to believe that he since that he's the killer of Emily and that he's going to do the same thing um, with the but I think you're right about your speculation. I, I, I don't think he killed Emmett and Leanne. I still think that, that it could be Fred because he just lurks. Well, you have to remember, yeah. like, that, that weird little tip. he's crazy. That tip that we learned when Phil was talking about um, John Carroll Lynch. What is his name again? Fred. 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 So when, yeah. when Phil's talking about Fred, he's like, yeah, I think he's a good guy. You know, and, you know, he, was, you know, he had all his presents for Jared. And I'm starting to wonder if... Mm. He knew Jared was out of the hotel room he did when it. he killed he did him. It. He did it just oh. to free Jared from that kind. Who knows? Because he's, you know, it, he's a strange dude. He's strange dude, but that was, to me, that was the moment where I thought, Ben was right. Right. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. um, I have a lot of those moments. <laughs> I'm, I'm filled with those moments. Um, so, look, I, 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 it is tough to figure out exactly who, who is motivated by what. Um, but I think it's too easy if Larry killed Emmett and Leanne just from a narrative. Yeah. It yeah. Just seems, yeah. uh, but he's uh, dangerous, and we, he, he, I mean, he's dangerous. He, we know he, he needs to be stopped. And he doesn't really care about avenging his friend's death. He's a psychopath. No. He, this killing them. Ties up a loose end. Extricates True. himself from this situation, well, which yes. he is eager to I think to he cares, yeah. too. Yeah. I think he cares, too. So, I think he cares yeah, about he, the, the, he, that Americans were killed. You know, like a young American was killed. But he doesn't yeah. care so much that he was willing at first to betray his country to save himself. Well, of course, that was to I save mean, himself. People who do things like that are complicated. They may think, oh, I don't mind helping out. But like, as soon as somebody is killed that I didn't think was going to be killed, I, I want to get these people back. Uh, to me, it's like a, a guy who is, uh, it's, he's happy to have a justification that isn't, I am merely looking to, right. uh, to protect myself. For my myself. own skin, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. I'm going to avenge my friends, whatever. <laughs> but it, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know my last name. Going, yeah. back, <laughs> going back to Paige, I, you know, it is one of those things where when Paige questions her parents, I do think, like, how does that whole travel agency thing work? Right. I mean, I do have to sit there and think, how does that, I mean, are they working hard every day making that travel agency work? I mean, we don't really ever see those I moments. I, well, they, they are, I mean, they are actually a functioning travel agency. Uh, so I, I assume that's what everybody else in the office is yes. doing all the time. You know? This has been a very busy two years for them. So I <laughs> and of course, they're having a daughter who's now what, like 15? We're yeah, she's 15, driving, yeah. so she's like 15. And, and she's smart and she's figuring it out. She's like, what travel agents work this hard? I know. <laughs> like, what kind of travel agent emergency is this? Travel agency emergency? And yeah, and, and everything she said, you know, and, and so she's like, this is crazy. They're having a weird, another weird phone conversation. Maybe it's not mm -hmm. even mom. Sure. Right? I want to hear the mistress who's sleeping with my father, and so right. she picks up the phone for that. But that was terrifying to me, just that little click. They're oh, in the middle yeah. of... Yeah, it's like in the middle uh, of his revealing a conversation. Because at first I thought, oh God, they're being bugged. Oh no, it's hang up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> also, you, know, you, you have Elizabeth now wondering, you know, why why is Jared being being sent away? Yeah, right. that, I that. mean, Elizabeth's starting to question the whole notion of what you do when you have kids. And, sure, and well, yeah, what's going to happen to our kids? Uh, for your your requisite '80s reference, a, a good one too. Con this yeah. week, yeah, a good one too, because it wasn't just a reference; oh, it was right, a yeah. joke about a reference. It right. was like the. Like, that, Wrath of Khan isn't going to be any good. <laughs> that first movie sucks. <laughs> first movie sucks right? um, yes. and, but the, the, we don't know what happened to, what's the handler's Kate? We don't know, I mean, we, we do know what happened to Kate, but they don't know what happened to Kate. Yeah, and they don't uh, know why Kate was herself. Right, and, and why was Kate, that. like, why did Kate tell them? And what is, is Jared just like, so he just heard your, what has he heard? Your There's parents were Soviet we spies know. and yeah. they were killed because they were Soviet yeah, spies? Yeah, the, the, the conversations are so elliptical. Yeah, we don't really know all that Jared knows. We don't know if Jared was in any way, you know, if they were involving him in stuff or if they just told him or... Yeah. There's something about the Jared story that we don't know yet. No question, because those conversations are, you said, they're, they're too elliptical. There's too, it's too hard to follow. She says, right. you know about your parents. Right. Mm -hmm. well, what do you know about your parents? Right. Um, but he obviously knows some stuff and he was totally willing to go along and then we're left with the terrifying conclusion that Larrick is good and, that close. And, that close. Right, and he's right there yeah. in town. Uh, anyway, have we left any? Oh, and then I still something, oh, something's going on with, and, the, with the pastor. And Stan's wife. Uh, yeah, she's going to live. Yeah. Going to live with Est guy. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah. What did she say? What Est thing did she describe? Uh, he's, in the, he's, he's in the, in the moment, moment or he's something. A, yeah, yeah, he's willing to be in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the 70s her. were not over in 1982. No, not for, uh, <laughs> not for her. But uh, And then the, it can, the, is the church group just going to be a... 
a good church, a church group? group that's trying to do good? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, are we? I mean, Paige will be there in this next episode. So, are they setting up a like a suspense scenario with something that like a like a peril scenario for for Paige at the where, at the camp? I mean, where she calls and's like, I don't feel safe here. Yeah, right. or, right. or Pastor, whatever. Pastor yeah. Tim came into my tent. Maybe yeah. there's a secret Sandinista. Who right. Knows? right. <laughs> uh, but then, right, and they're in the middle of this sure. stuff with Larrick, and they. They, Can't they get gotta, away. They got to get yeah. to Pennsylvania or not, and they got to get to Jared wherever he is in New York, upstate New York, and she's in Pennsylvania. And they, the travel agency is very busy <laughs> in the next episode. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, they wrote they travel could book a travel agency. They trailways. And, yeah. All right, Jerry, you're on Amtrak. <laughs> uh, all right, good stuff as usual. Uh, so looking forward to the season and and fearing it. I mean, I'm dreading the season. I know, sure. I know, sure. and I'm, I'm on tenterhooks for sure. Thanks.